It is the Morningstar 2017 Fund Manager of the Year Awards, and we're going to meet Morningstar's domestic stock fund manager in just a minute. But first, let's find out why he won. The Morningstar 2017 Domestic Stock Fund Manager of the Year is Steven Weimer of Fidelity Growth Company. The fund's big tech stake really boosted results. NVIDIA was a top contributor. It's a name that he bought first in 2008 when it was a much smaller company. He patiently held on and built the position. The fund also did well with its biotech picks, including Bluebird Bio and Anylum Pharmaceuticals. Both were up triple digits for the year. Steve Weimer, congratulations. Thanks, Tyler. Way to go. Fantastic work. You know what I like about your fund and all of these winners here today is the kind of consistency that you have been able to deliver. I just want to read these numbers. Last year, top 5% up 36% over the year. The three-year, top 2%. Five-year, top 2%. 10-year, top 4%. 15-year, top 2%. How do you deliver that kind of consistency? Well, it starts with getting a lot of help back at at Fidelity in Boston and around the around the world. We put together this portfolio over a lot of years and uh, we found some good stocks and we stuck through them through some tough times and figured out uh, which ones were gonna carry the water for us over the years. I looked, according to Morningstar, at your 10 biggest holdings last year. And the worst of the 10 biggest holdings was up 33%. It, it was a good year for the market. It was a very a good, good year for growth. Good year for growth, so we needed a stock to be up well over 20% just to, to be in the ballpark f for a good name. But we had some others that were up a lot more than that. You know, I I'm looking at some of them. Apple up 48%, Amazon up 55%, Al Nylum, Alphabet. Think of what you could do if you inv <laughs> invested in stocks that began with the letter B, uh, not just the A's. There, there, NVIDIA, as we mentioned there, has been a long time holding. Your largest holding up 86% last year. Why do you like it so much? So semiconductor space in general was a good place last year, but NVIDIA was an especially good place. So they're the leader in computer graphics for video games, and they're taking that technology and applying it to the data center and taking this accelerated computing and bringing it now in the future to the automotive world and leading the automotive world in autonomous driving with over 200 projects working around the world. A lot of familiar growth, uh, well, they'd be familiar to our, mm. our viewers uh, right. in, in your portfolio, the Facebooks, right. uh, Tesla, as I mentioned, Alphabet and Amazon and, and so forth. And Adidas begins with an A too. And Adidas begins <laughs> with an A. And it was also a good year for biotech right. for you. Right. Do you see this year being quite as favorable for growth names or may it tilt a little more toward value? I think there's still some good opportunities in growth. I can't speak so much for value, but I think in general the opportunities should broaden out quite a bit. Not only is the U.S. economy accelerating, but the international economy is, is a tailwind too. Along with the weaker dollar, uh, we're seeing some favorable uh, business results translate back into U.S. earnings. You know, another thing I like about the job you have done, you've been there 21 years running this fund. I don't know, you just can't hold a job, obviously. <laughs> 21 years, and you have very low turnover. Your average holding period is about four years for a stock, 25% turnover. Why is that an advantage? I think it's an advantage because most of these stories aren't an overnight success story, so we live through some ups and some downs, and when we have some downs, sometimes is it good advantage to build the position a little bit bigger. And uh, we see the companies that have a big advantage, their, uh, their, uh, their advantages accrue to them well over time, over time. And, and compound. Steve, thank you very much and congratulations. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.